Bill Swanson, Superintendent of Highways, Town of Tonawanda. I've been superintendent for the last five years and I've been an employee here for 40. The key challenge for Western New York basically is, first off, is the price of salt. It keeps rising so fast and uh, our budgets are limited and it's getting harder and harder to keep the programs going that we have and our, our roads safe the way they've been for so many years um, with keeping the cost down. We started using salt brine roughly two years ago. Um, we purchased a uh, salt brine maker and we were, we were applying that, pre-treating, and we were using it to mix in with our salt. And we found out that it was only good to 18 degrees um, ground temperature. And that wasn't good enough for this area. So we come up with a solution of adding the magic at 20% to 80% salt brine. We found out it was good to zero, down to zero and uh, it seemed to do the trick. And then below zero what we do is we do 30% magic and 70% salt brine. And it seems to, to really work when it gets below zero. But below zero we only deal with possibly one week of it, two, maybe two at the most during the season. My magic brine mix, when you apply it before a storm, you find out you don't get that hard pack on the ground where you normally do and uh, it leaves a little layer in between and it's easier to get the, uh, everything cleaned up faster. Using the liquid uh, with the salt, we find out that uh, the bounce and scatter rate is very little. Um, what I mean by that is uh, when you go down the street, if you don't have the liquids mixed with the salt, uh, it just scatters all over the road and then when the vehicles come through, it actually pushes it all to the curb lanes basically. So the center of the street, you really don't have that material down in the street. When you do it this way, we find out that the material does stay in the middle of the street. We have found out from uh, doing this blend together, combined with the computer systems that we have in the trucks now, uh, we are saving roughly 30 to 35 percent in salt every time we go out, which is huge for us. Because on a normal uh, snowstorm, we use over 200 tons of salt to do one time around. So the savings is quite a bit, actually, with the price of salt these days. Working with innovative solutions uh, for the last five, six years, as I've been superintendent, and they've been coming here for quite a few years before that. Um, they've helped us along, they've uh, done some classes, and they've actually educated us on uh, using liquids. Uh, a lot of superintendents are scared to use liquids, um, but they have helped us a great deal in uh, getting everything right, and we really think we have it down now.